The lady asked her boyfriend for his 3.8 million ring after she rejected his proposal, saying she earned it. <laughs> <laughs> what? If you do you want to start? We see this happening. We see. Oh, a lot. really? <laughs> no, not like in the same scenario. Oh, okay. But you see a lot of ladies that think that, okay, because they've been in this relationship, they've suffered with you, they've done this, they've done that. So when the relationship is over, they feel they have the sense of entitlement, like I'm entitled to this. Like, for instance, I have a friend who was dating this girl. He has three cars. She was using one car while they were dating. And when they broke up, she felt the need to keep that car. Mm. Do you understand? She felt... I like how like, if it has real life experience <laughs> or whatever <laughs> issue that you bring to this table. She was like, yo, can I have my car back? Like, this was when we were in a relationship. Mm. And she started capping all these things like, uh, that, do you know what we've been through together? I thought that car... And it was like, look, I don't turn that car to a Uber. Do you understand? Can I have my car back? <laughs> <laughs> Can Which I is why, you see, uh, there are gifts that I don't collect. And even when okay. I collect it, uh, if you are giving me a car, you are putting that car in my name. Because it's not because I am dating you and tomorrow we break up. I go mm. from having a car to not having a car. It's better I don't drive a car at all. Mm. And I know that it is not my car. And guess what? And I think that's is what people need to away. understand. Yeah. She walked away from the relationship very, yeah. and still yeah. wanted to keep the car. It is very dangerous yeah. when you... Um, you are in a hypergamy relationship where the person is obviously in a bigger class because then you are used to a lifestyle that, that he you probably that you, cannot, you. you cannot maintain without mm -hmm. the person. Mm -hmm. And I always worry about that because then you can't necessarily. I, I understand where you're coming from when someone wants to put your name, but that would never always be the case where a then man in a relationship this. would um, give you. But I like what you said that you wouldn't take those I gifts. Won't. I think personally, for me, it's not just about giving it back when the relationship ends. I've noticed for me, and I think I'm, I'm speaking for a lot of women, the more. Um, independent, I be independent. I become on the person, especially financially. The more I feel like my voice has been taken away, mm -hmm. so that I, subconsciously I just start to take a lot more. I can't use that word. A lot more crap from the person mm -hmm. because I don't have the boldness to really say. Um, no, because you're feeding me, you're paying my rent, you're helping me go to this vacation that I wouldn't have been able to afford mm -hmm. and things like that. And then, but not to deviate, I think this girl doesn't have any stand this is just on keeping that. It's not like they worked together No, or please. She's and this is sick. why, ladies, you should think about prenups and think about all those things when you're having, when you're going into the institution of marriage because this is that same type of situation. I thought we started doing prenup for girlfriend and boyfriend. We have, actually. There are we people have. who do it. Uh -huh. then of course, I, it's I, not I, in the I would, open, but yeah. it's a personal conversation. Yeah. To say this is what's going to happen in this relationship yeah. and whatnot. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but I think this this lady, like Ife has rightly said, she wanted to maintain a life that she couldn't afford. Or she this wanted, lady, it's no, just no, no, ring. No, she or wanted, she wanted or... something that she can't afford. Mm. And I think, in my opinion, I think it was after she told her friends. You know, friends can be very misleading as well. Like, yo, this guy proposed. Should I like to blame somebody? This, that you don't even know. Like, <laughs> you know, like this guy proposed and the ring was like ten k dollars, and they're like, you said no. At least you for collect the ring first. Now, at least collect the ring so first. So now we now went up to call the guy. Can I collect the ring? Yes, wow. influence. Influence. Peer pressure. Wow.